Hello, good morning. So our focus of discussion for today is all about classification of volcanic activity. Just for a while. So these are some pictures showing um, different volcanic activities of different uh, volcanoes found in the whole world. So on the leftmost uh, pictures, as you can see, these are volcanoes emitting gases only, ashes, um, small pieces of um, crystals. While on the right side of the uh, screen or of these two pictures on the right side of my screen, it shows um, volcanoes releasing magma. So these are some uh, activities or volcanic activities that we're going to discuss today. Volcanoes are classified in terms of their eruption, namely magmatic and then phreatomagmatic. Magmatic eruption produces juvenile class during explosive decompression from gas release. So it is accompanied with gas explosions. While phreatomagmatic is characterized by an explosive water magma interaction through which large amounts of steam and magmatic gases are Release. So, on this type of phreatomagmatic, it is not only um, gases that are actually released, but likewise magma. So, on this uh, first picture, as you can see, uh, it only releases gas. Uh, no magma are actually, no magmas are actually visible on this picture. Well, on this picture, it shows a lava fountain uh, of magma released out of its vent. So, this one is under magmatic, whereas this uh, first picture is um, actually friato magmatic. So, the first classification under uh, magmatic is actually Hawaiian. Uh, features generally basaltic, so basically um, heavy magma, 50% silica as we have discussed um, on our topic which is actually magma and magma properties. The PowerPoint is already sent through your precedents. So kindly have a brief review on that. So it is actually fluid uh, with respect on, on its motion. Low level eruption uh, because this type of... Um, Magma or basaltic magma contains 50% uh, um, silica and then 50% uh, gas. So, which means it will just have a harmless type of eruption. And then effusive eruption or fire fountain is a classification which means it's really not that violent. Column generally less than 500 meters of that uh, magma, gases, some lattice crystals and other um, tephra which will be coming out of the volcano next would be uh, fluid lava because it is uh, by nature of its magma property is actually basaltic result in vast gentle volcanoes or shield volcanoes which is very uh, prominent in the country of hawaii so most of the Volcanoes are found in uh, Hawaii is under this classification and associated this Hawaiian uh, or Hawaii um, classification of volcanic activity is associated with a hot spot. A hot spot is actually a region wherein there is a continuous supply of magma underneath the mantle core boundary. So this is an example of um, Hawaiian volcanic activity. As you can see, it's very fluid. Uh, no eruption. Uh, basaltic by nature wherein it is commonly found on the ocean. Um, and the magma flows very easily. Okay, So as you can see, there is no uh, gases is not 
uh, gases are not very prominent on this type of eruption. Uh, basically, this there is no eruption, but uh, a normal flow of magma. So this is actually on the island of Hawaii. So this one, the, the picture that I showed to you is actually on Mount Kilauea in Hawaii, the largest volcano of which is actually Mauna Loa volcano, which uh, um, it's not considered as an eruption, but rather uh, it releases a lot of magma way back 1950. <clears throat> so this one is a Kilauea summit eruption. So that's the... Uh, summit already which is uh, almost leveled with the sea level <clears throat> or sea water so classification is lava lake uh, specific type i mean is lava lake unification is under magmatic which means it's more on magma less of gases and then features are rare cases very fluid very fluid lava, weak pyroclastic production. I'm so sorry with the typo. So pyroclast means, a pyro means a fire. Class means these are actually boulder size um, rocks uh, that are actually emitted during a volcanic eruption. So this uh, boulder size rocks that are actually in fire is actually under the classification of weak type. So which means they will not reach um, a great distance during volcanic eruption. So this one is displayed again in Mauna Ulu Lava, Lava Lake in uh, Hawaii, and then in Erta Ale, Ethiopia. So this one is in actually in uh, Erta Ale, uh, Ethiopia. So as you can see, it's already its peak. Uh, the magma is actually on its crater. Uh, no eruption at all, but as you can see, the mere presence of the magma indicates that the, this particular uh, volcano is active. Next is actually Strombolian. So Strombolian under the classification of magmatic, again more on magma. Basaltic magma which is very fluid, 50% silica, the rest is actually gases, uh, magnesium, iron and then silicates more viscous than hawaiian so as you can see the viscosity increases uh, intermittent explosions no sustained columns ejected to heights of a few hundred meters minutes of pause between bursts and then displayed in stromboli sicily in um, italy and then in mount paricutin way back 1942 to 1952 so as you can see for uh, nine consecutive years uh, Mount Paricutin in, is actually in Mexico is very active and then Mount Erebus in Antarctica so this one is in Stromboli Sicily as you can see there is a lava fountain type of eruption but not that violent as that of Mount Pinatubo which I discussed to you and then of that of Mount St. Helens wherein um, together with its um, eruption, it, it releases mushroom type clouds which reaches up to the stratosphere. So in here, as you can see, it's more on magma uh, material that it releases and um, not reaching a height of one, one kilometers or 1,000 meters, which means this one is not that violent. This one is Mount Erebus. The magma is not quite present, but the crater is present and then there is a release of gas in this, so which means this one is an active volcano. Next is actually Volcanian. Under Volcanian, it is under magmatic, similar to hydrovolcanic. Hydro means it is located or found in the ocean. Begins with violent, noisy explosion. Ejects new lava fragment do not, that do not take on a rounded shape during their flight. Through the air, highly viscous fragmented clouds. So which means this one, since uh, the viscosity is high, we will consider 
already this one as violent. Okay? Because the viscosity is high. Remember our discussion on magma and magma properties? The viscosity dictates or determine if uh, the volcanic activity is violent or not violent. So as you can see, a uh, clouds rises up to or reaches 10 to 20 kilometers. So this is um, almost the same where the clouds um, produce during Mount Pinatubo's eruption. So this one is in Volcano, Sicily. This one on its... Uh, and then this one is a very city. This is what I am discussing to you uh, during my previous discussion that there are a lot of volcanoes uh, found in Italy beginning with uh, Stromboli, although, although um, Stromboli is not that violent. It releases only lava fountain type of uh, magma eruption. But on this one... Uh, since the classification of this is highly viscous magma, this one is considered as a violent type of um, volcano. And as you can see on this side, later I will discuss what is this volcano. So, as you can see, and on this side, on this side is actually the Stromboli. So, there are actually three, three major um, uh, volcanoes surrounding the very uh, city of Sicily. Next, features widespread dispersal of tephra can last with long interval intervals of repose for several millenn millennia. What do you mean by in, um, uh, angle of repose? That's actually the uh, shape of the volcano that they need, that this particular volcano needs to maintain even if the eruption is so massive so violent if and ever the volcano maintains its shape which means uh, this particular volcano is um, strong and likewise can withstand a very violent type of eruption that is what they mean by angle of repose that's the angle or the uh, obtained shape of the volcano even after continuous eruption or um, single eruption. So this one is displayed in Volcano Sicily, again in um, Italy, Sakurajima in Japan. I've, I've showed uh, this picture of Sakurajima in Japan on my uh, discussion on magma and magma properties. And then um, the, the, the eruption of this um, Sakurajima, Mount Sakurajima is still ongoing. Okay, so this one, again, beginning with Volcano Sicily, or Volcanian classification, it is it is now considered as violent. And then, uh, in Mount Erasu, in Costa Rica, way back, it's eruption on 1965. So this one is um, Volcano Sicily. And then this one is a crater of Mount Erasu uh, under um, Volcanian classification. And then this one is the Plinian classification under magmatic features rare events 2 to 3 in a century. So this one is the most uh, pop explosive. So as you can see from the Volcanian classification, uh, I mean from the Stromboli which is having a much higher um, viscosity than the Hawaiian uh, Volcanian. As you can see, the, the, the level of viscosity increases, which means, which means its eruptive style or being violent increases. So from the category of Stromboli, next is Volcanian, and then this one is the most powerful, most explosive, highly evolved magma with abundant pumice, stratospheric eruption columns, huge volumes and large mass flux is an, under the category of Plinian. So this one uh, is actually Mount Pinatubo which is actually I discussed already with you on my uh, magma and magma properties discussion. As you can see uh, the level of clouds reaches up to the stratospheric um, level of the atmosphere. It forms uh, it formed mushroom-shaped uh, 
clouds were in 1991. Specific type. Subplane yan, unification is under magmatic. Features, high eruptive blooms up to 30 kilometers. Eruptions happen after long years of dormancy. So as you can see, um, when when this particular, when a particular volcano have this uh, very violent eruption and then after which it will undergo long period of rest or dormancy and then it will erupt again. It is under the category of subplanian. So, it has a sustained column, generally dacite, rhyolite. So, it is uh, under uh, continental crust because we have rhyolitic um, composition. Continuous uh, sheet of tephra, pumice is common, less fragmented than volcanian products. Discrete explosions lasting seconds to few seconds i'm so sorry a few seconds so this one is mount vesuvius in um sicily italy okay so as you can see this is a very city this one the white one i'm so sorry i just um expand the picture so uh it's quite pixelated and then this one is a mount vesuvius under uh uh Sad plane yan because its last eruption is way back 79th uh, century. So, after which, there is no recorded um, eruption. But there is a release of gases and ashes from its vent. So, still, the volcano is under the category of active. But, uh, since there is no major eruption, it is under dormant uh, category. So, that would be Vesuvius in 1822. And then, the next one is Friato Plinian. Uh, unification is Friato Magmatic. Features no historic eruptions of this type. High eruptive column. Extremely fine tephra. Wide dispersal of this uh, deposit. And then, example of which, as of this moment, is none. Okay. Next would be Sertseyan or uh, Hydrovolcanic. So this one is found in the ocean or ocean floor. Freato mag magmatic is its classification because it's more on gases than the magma uh, that it releases during its um, eruption. So, features rapid small explosions, uh, viscous, basaltic, so which means it's 50% silica, 50% magnesium, iron, silicates, and then gases. So, which means this one is a harmless type of volcano. Column less than 500 meters associated with surge clouds, highly fragmented material, commonly within a standing body of water. So, such as this one, the Taal Volcano, because this one is standing within uh, the Taal Lake facing Laguna de Bay. And then next to that is Manila Bay. And then uh, your West Philippine Sea. And then search say Iceland, Fire Island, and Alaska. And then Taal Volcano, which its last eruption was actually on 1977. This one is Sertsi Iceland. This one, uh, when you try to Google this one or view this uh, formation of Sertsi Iceland in YouTube, its eruption continued uh, for about um, four years and then after which it forms a little island uh, near to Iceland. So... They consider this one as a part of Iceland. Because the nearest one, the nearest country to that is actually Iceland. Okay? So, for continuous eruption, uh, a good effect of this eruption is it forms another island. Now, this one is Fire Island in Alaska. So, it's just the same. It's just the same. Uh, it is within the 
uh, standing body of water. Then, sa actually subglacial. Unification is phreatomagmatic. Features no eruptive column, which means it will not have a formation of gases, plumes of ashes, tephra, magma, lava, lava fountain. No, none at all. So, some ash on the surface of ice sheets, only surface effect is a sag, saggy effect. Now, in the glacier, melted ice, fragmented lava, and water flood, flood out, displayed in Iceland. So, such as this one. So, it it, pos, it shows a saggy effect or a rupture on the ice part of the icy part or on the glacier part of the volcano. Signifying that there is a presence of an active volcano on that area. So, that's it. That's the end of my... Uh, discussion i hope you learned something new today and um kindly wait for my um activity uh today thank you and goodbye